Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Heather and this is going to be video number four for my Thrive journey. I am on chapter five, I think I just finished chapter five. So uh, like I said in my last video, I was going to work on those, uh, some points from those quizzes that are still uh, problematic for me. So chapter four is the um, self-esteem chapter and chapter five is the, is the social anxiety chapter. So uh, for the last few weeks, that's what I've really been working on reducing. Um, I've done a lot of different things, just a lot of little challenges for me. I've made a lot of progress. I'm feeling much, much better. My physical symptoms um, are so greatly reduced. It's, it's just been amazing. I, um, I'm not nearly as dizzy. Uh, my stomach pain is pretty much gone. Um, and the nausea is very, very slight. I mean, it's just... I, I just I don't I don't have that that awful sick feeling all the time anymore. Um, so uh, that's been just that's been the best part for me. I, I actually feel am feeling good again. So uh, some of the things that I've been working on for the self esteem uh, have a lot of it's been the uh, just processing the positives and and remembering that. You know, I'm I'm worth it. I I have value, um, and so processing those positives and and giving myself recognition for the things that I am doing and the things that um, demonstrate to me that I am that good person. Things that uh, I volunteered at a horse show uh, for my friend, and I spent all day there on my feet, and I was tired, and um, but I felt really good at the end of it because I was able to. Um, help her out. I was able to help out the other writers um, and make that show run smoothly and make it a good experience for you know the kids that were there. So that was fun. Uh, that made me feel really good. I uh, also have been doing a, a brick wall challenge that my consultant assigned me. Um, so on my brick wall, you know, I've worked on that. I believe I showed that in one of my videos where I'm drawing out a brick wall and I'm writing all of the evidence against that limiting belief and um, one limiting belief that's really important to me and affected my life um, has been about my riding ability and my um, my skill with my horses and so I've really been working on that brick wall I've just beat the holy hell out of it I mean I was finally able to last week get on my horse when nobody was home and I rode her by myself uh, with no one around and I had full confidence in myself that I could handle whatever happened. So that was a really good feeling and I just, I know that this spring, summer and fall riding season is just going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. So that's one point that I can now check off my list and I can draw out another brick wall and knock those out. Um, that's an awesome exercise. So uh, let's see, for the self-esteem uh, or for the social anxiety stuff, um, a lot of people have this, this shy bladder issue where you know you don't like using the restroom in um, close proximity to others. Um, so. <laughs> One thing my consultant suggested was to, um, you know, go in and just do your business as loud as you possibly can. And so I've been working on that. I will only use the bathroom um, at work when other coworkers are in there. So if I have to go, I wait until somebody is in the bathroom <laughs> um, before I go. Um, so I've been doing that a lot. Um, I am also going and uh, shopping by myself and, um, you know, before I was kind of worried, you know, about how people saw me if I was in a certain aisle, the feminine, feminine hygiene aisle, or if I was picking out makeup or things like that. Um, I was really cognizant of, of people around me and, and what they might think of me. And um, so I've been working on that as well and that's going pretty darn well. I'm no longer feeling that. I, I don't seem to mind when people are around me. I don't um, even think about the other people that are in the store with me. So uh, that's been really positive. Um, 
And I am continuing to do the journaling. I received my uh, second Thrive Journal just yesterday in the mail, um, which is just in time because I'm almost to the end of that one. Um, and of my first one. So I've got the, the fresh new one to start with. Um, I find that has been probably the biggest thing. It is now a complete habit for me. So if I am on the way to work and I realize that I have forgotten to do it, it's, um, you know, obviously I don't, you know, catastrophize about it or, or make it a big deal, but it's actually something that I do think about it. It's on my, my checkoff list. Like, did I do this this morning? Did I do that this morning? And um, so I do that before I get out of bed. I do my first section of the journal and then uh, as I'm walking around feeding the horses, I do my mantras, do the same thing in the shower and I visualize my day and I set my intentions for the day and um, I've been doing an exercise at work with my white marbles. I've got a jar at work and it just kind of always sat there. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it, um, but I have... Uh, been working on managing my thinking and, and really monitoring what I'm saying to myself and so when I notice that I've had a really good positive thought or a really um, just empowering thought I pluck a marble out of the dish and I put it uh, on my monitor stand so that it's kind of in my line of sight I do computer work all day long so it's right there in my line of sight so I can see um, you know how many positive wonderful thoughts that I've uh, worked up during the day and so when I collect all of those um, at the end of the day it's really nice to to see them um, and if I do have a really crappy thought a really negative thought I'll um, take that black marble out and think about how I can turn that into a positive thought and then I replace that with a white marble and I put it up on the stand um, so those are some things I've been working on um, just in the last few weeks and I hope it's it's obvious to you guys out there as well that I'm just uh, I'm I'm doing so much better. I'm I'm beginning to thrive. I'm eating fairly normally now. I've gained um, seven pounds back, which has been really huge. Um, and my husband has even noticed a difference in me as well. So, um, yeah, it's been an absolutely amazing last few weeks. Uh, we are down to the deadline um, for the tax season so at work um, so I'll be going in again tomorrow morning and hopefully next week I'll have another update um, that'll show even more progress. I'm starting on chapter six now so um, I hope to see a lot more uh, a lot more progress in that as well and I haven't picked out my next brick wall exercise yet I've got a couple I'm thinking on so um, I probably will post that here on my blog this weekend so if you haven't already please um, check out the link below and I uh, hope to see you all again really really soon so take care thanks for watching bye